Welcome to 5 News tonight. I'm Claudia Liza Armar. Domestic abuse is more common than you might think. Police respond to more than 100 calls an hour. But it's not a specific crime. Today, though, the Sentencing Council issued new guidelines to emphasise how seriously they take it. Now offenders will face tougher punishments and are more likely to be jailed not only for physical violence, but also for causing emotional or psychological harm. Women's charities say it's about time. We flip trot reports. Well, as I say, this is a big issue. And if you or anyone you know wants more information on domestic abuse, then Women's Aid, who you saw in that report, have put together advice and essential information. You can go and find that on our Facebook page. Just search for Channel 5 News. Now, police investigating a suspicious letter sent to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle say they're treating it as a racist hate crime. The item was addressed to both of them and contained a white powder. Well, our royal correspondent Simon Vigar is at Buckingham Palace and for us tonight. And Simon, and what more can you tell us about this letter? A senior figure at UNICEF who was at the centre of allegations of inappropriate behaviour in his previous role has resigned. Antidepressants do work and in fact they're so effective many more people should be prescribed them. That's the conclusion of a major study by researchers at Oxford University who say their findings finally put to bed the controversy surrounding the drugs. Dominic Reynolds reports. There have been renewed calls for the minimum price on alcohol, this time from three of England's police and crime commissioners. They've written to the Home Secretary, Amber Rudd, saying that a new pricing scheme would reverse the tide of harm caused by cheap booze. Well, Peter Lane has been meeting one mum whose teenage daughter died after drinking strong cider at a party. Welcome back. Now, no one likes to think about losing a loved one, but if you did, would you be willing to donate their organs? Well, tomorrow, MPs will debate proposals to move to a system where it's presumed people's organs will be donated unless they've actively opted out of it. Well, a new poll shows around three quarters of the population, that 74% are in favour of the plans, and here's why. At any one time, around 6,300 are on the transplant waiting list, and for many, the wait is just too long. Last year, just under 500 people died while waiting for the organ that would keep them alive. And in 2015, Five News ran a series on organ donation, and I've been looking back at it. Mike Benton ending that piece. And as we saw there, the willingness of people to agree to donate the organs of a loved one is very difficult in those difficult circumstances, is at the heart of this. And the parents of Jemima Lazell faced such a dilemma. Jemima was just 13 when she died of a brain aneurysm. But by donating her organs, Jemima went on to save the lives of eight people, the highest number to receive organs from a single donor. Well, earlier I spoke to Jemima's mum, and I began by asking her when she had that difficult conversation about organ donation with her daughter. Well, if you'd like to know more about some organ donation or you'd like to have your say on the public consultation on the opt-in scheme, head into our Facebook page where you can find more information and links you need. Just search for Channel 5 News. Well, that's it from us. Helen Roberts has all the weather next. And Janelle has the updates tonight. Have yourself a good one. Bye.